Speaker signs a bill to address Kentucky's heroin crisis. The House and Senate both passed the legislation late last night on the last day of the General Assembly. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff was in Frankfurt for today's bill signing. Well, the governor and lawmakers are calling this a good compromise that had things both parties wanted. A needle exchange, tougher penalties. Both parties agreed this was desperately needed. I think it's going to save a lot of people. And I, I hope with what the governor said, reaching out to the addicts, letting them know, you know, we're not going to keep jailing you. We, we want you to come forward for treatment. Kimberly Wright lost a sister to heroin and almost a daughter. She says the new heroin law balances punishment and treatment. The debate between those two approaches killed the bill last year. We didn't want to get up and walk away from the table because we knew what needed to be accomplished. We knew the problem existed and we knew that our work wasn't done. Senator Whitney Westerfield sponsored the Senate bill, which included harsher penalties for drug dealers. The law gives some immunity to people who report overdoses. It also funds more rehabilitation. Representative John Tilley says treatment for pregnant women is especially important. It's a pretty good return on investment. And if you've heard the cry of a baby who's addicted to opiates, it doesn't really matter what it costs if you can ease that suffering. Another provision expands access to naloxone, a drug that reverses overdoses. The law also allows local governments to create needle exchanges. Many lawmakers oppose that measure, but Governor Steve Bashir says it was important. I encourage every community to, uh, to look at the possibility of opening up needle exchanges. I think it's a public health issue. Uh, it also allows us to establish contact with a lot of people that are in trouble. The law takes effect immediately. Wright, who hails from northern Kentucky, says it will have a huge impact. I want to go stand down by the bridges so I can see all the dealers running into Ohio. <laughs> I hope it scares them that much. We've got to send a message to them. This bill will cost $10 million in the first year, $24 million next year, but lawmakers say they'll be saving money by getting addicts into treatment instead of prison. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY.